Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Urban Infrastructure and Cities. Will the Minister update the House on the government's approach to cutting down on congestion in our urban areas, including in my electorate of Ford and around the nation? Is the Minister aware of any alternative approaches? The Minister for Urban Infrastructure. Oh, well, I do thank the member for Ford for this question. He, of course, has a strong track record on delivering on congestion-busting projects, such as the Gateway Merge project, along with Mudgery Bar to Vasty Lakes being widened to six lanes, which the member for McPherson also advocated for very strongly. These projects construction will commence halfway through this year, delivering congestion relief on the M1 corridor, one of the busiest in the nation with some 148,000 vehicles a day. And that's just part of the suite of congestion-relieving projects that the Turnbull government is delivering around the country. The M80 Ring Road in Melbourne, where we've committed $500 million, or the Monash Freeway, where we've committed $500 million, the North-South Corridor in Adelaide, where we've committed $1.6 billion across the three sections of Northlink we've committed $820.9 million in Perth. In Sydney, North Connects, $412 million, and that's going to save motorists 15 minutes and 21 sets of traffic lights. Or West Connects, a $16.8 billion project where there will 45,000 vehicles will be taken off Parramatta Road between Concord Member and Haberfield by 2030. The trip time from Parramatta to Sydney Airport will be reduced by 40 minutes. These are congestion-busting projects, as indeed the member for Graindler acknowledged when he said in May 2013, uh, in, uh, announcing Labor's commitment to WestConnex, this infrastructure commitment is also helping western and southwestern Sydney residents to cut back on travel times. So true, so true. But I'm asked. Are there any alternative approaches? And there are alternative approaches to infrastructure, and they might be described as the Labor Greens appeasing backflip. The Labor Greens appeasing backflip, because that is a standard tactic that we see from Labor governments when they cancelled, when Western Australian Labor cancelled Perth Freight Link, Victorian Labor cancelled the East West Link. And what about the member for Grainler? He was championing WestConnex in 2013. In 2016, under pressure from the Greens in his electorate of Grainler, he couldn't walk away from WestConnex fast enough. He couldn't distance himself fast enough. He told a community meeting in his electorate that if he became the transport minister, there would be not one dollar of federal money for WestConnex. So Labor cannot be trusted to deliver on these congestion-busting infrastructure projects in our big cities. Only the coalition, only the Turnbull government can be to trusted to deliver congestion relief for people in middle ring and outer suburban areas of our big cities.